The time is near. Denis Villeneuve's remake of the classic Dune will be released in movie theaters. Via Twitter, the responsible parties announced that the new video footage will hit selected IMAX theaters next week on July 21st and 22nd. In addition to the trailer, a clip from the film will also be screened. After all, a trip to the cinema should be well worth it for Dune fans. In front of the camera, we can look forward not only to spectacular sandworm chases and a nasty villain, but above all to appearances by Timothy Chalamet, Rebecca Ferguson, Oscar Isaac, Josh Brolin, Zendaya, Jason Momoa and many other actors. Recently, the film adaption of the book of the same name by Frank Herbert was postponed again and will now be released in the US on October 22nd instead of October 1st. Are you excited about the blockbuster? And if so, will you go to the cinema next week to watch the new trailer as soon as possible? Feel free to tell us in the comments below. Let's move on to the MCU characters who will appear in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Now that it's clear that Wanda Maximoff, alias Scarlet Witch, will be joining Doctor Strange in his second solo film, the cast now also includes Tom Hiddleston and his character Loki. You should skip the following if you haven't seen the season finale of Loki yet due to major spoiler alert. In episode 6, arriving at the end of time and space, Loki along with Sylvie meets Nathaniel Richards, aka Kang. The scientist from the 3rd millennium AD is the founder of the Time Variance Authority, TVA for short, which was created to protect the real timeline against undeserved manipulation. Not without reason, since in other timelines, Kang is known by his nickname The Destroyer rather than as a responsible scientist. Unlike his evil self, Richard doesn't want to be a tyrant, which is why he wants to hand over responsibility regarding the real timeline to Loki and Sylvie. However, Sylvie decides to kill the scientist and transport Loki back to the past, opening up the MCU's gigantic multiverse. In addition to the chaos, the new big MCU villain Kang the Destroyer should also make his entrance soon. He will replace Thanos and will even be a bit more powerful than his predecessor as Kang can easily rule over space and time. For the MCU heroes of the upcoming movies, this won't be a piece of cake because due to the open multiverse, you can never tell whether you're facing the good or the bad Kang. In any case, we're looking forward to Tom Hiddleston's appearance in the upcoming Doctor Strange, along with a freshly confirmed second season of Loki, of course. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness will be released on March 25th, 2022. US superstar Dwayne Johnson has often hinted at the costume of his character Black Adam in the past. A few days ago, he let the cat out of the bag and posted an exclusive picture from the set on Instagram showing him in the center with his new suit. In the post, the 49-year-old also somewhat describes his fancy outfit, saying that it was deliberately not designed like a typical DC or Marvel suit, that is, without any muscle padding. In addition to the small knock on his last train acting colleagues, the strong skin-tight structure and the relatively wide neck neckline also stand out, highlighting Johnson's muscles optimally. It would have been interesting to see a view from the front since that's the most crucial thing about a superhero suit. In another post, the actor gives us a hint regarding the making of Black Adam as it seems that Johnson's muscles as his suit will be optimized in post-production. In that case, Black Adam would more likely resemble a comic book superhero rather than a cinematic one. We're definitely eager to see the final look and can't wait to see new footage on DC's Black Adam. The movie will be released on July 29th, 2022. Almost three years ago, US actress Halle Bailey auditioned for Disney's remake of The Little Mermaid. And now filming is officially done. Fittingly, the 21-year-old posted her first image of herself in her new role on Instagram. In the picture description, she thanks everyone involved and expresses her joy about the project, which in fact started when she was still a teenager. However, her commitment has not only provided cheers in the fan community, as many were bothered by the major deviation from the cartoon original from 1989, ranging from the skin color to the hair. The the latter is still a mystery as she only ever posted photos with covered hair during the shoot, leading many fans to speculate that she might have dyed her hair or even worn a wig. Sadly, you can't really tell from Bailey's picture, but images leaked from the set weeks ago certainly don't suggest a red dye job. We also cannot spot Ariel striking Finn in the Instagram picture, a pretty clear sign of CGI post-production. When exactly we'll get to see the new Ariel in the remake of the same name is still unclear, but we assume a release in the coming year. Marvel's long-awaited fourth phase movie Black Widow has recently been released and has been met with mostly positive reviews. One could almost forget that this was Scarlett Johansson's last film as Black Widow as the 36-year-old is now leaving the MCU behind after a decade of success. 
In addition to our last Marvel movie, however, another internet phenomenon has been causing a sensation as many videos of a Scarlett Johansson lookalike have been circulating on TikTok for some time. If you didn't know any better, you could swear that Scarlett Johansson herself or at least a well-done deepfake is involved here. The young woman with a TikTok name Kate Johansson is currently astounding many MCU fans precisely so because she openly uses the striking resemblance for her videos. In fact, some fans are even speculating that the TikTok user could simply replace Scarlett Johansson in the event that Marvel takes notice of the doppelganger. We disagree though. After all, the character Black Widow will be useless within the MCU in the next few years and won't play a role anymore after her solo movie in Phase 4. So, fans will have to say goodbye to Black Widow in spite of her lookalike. For decades, Robert Jordan's 14-part book series, The Wheel of Time, has been one of the best fantasy epics. Appropriately enough, a series of its own was then announced in 2017, which is set to appear on Amazon Prime later this year. As a matter of fact, the streaming service seems so impressed by the success of the book adaption that it recently commissioned an additional film trilogy. Camp Cretaceous and Thor author Zack Stantz is said to be responsible for the screenplay. The first movie is to be titled Age of Legends and, as the name suggests, is to be set in the era of the legends. Although there are various stories about it in the book series, the books are set thousands of years after that. The Age of Legends is characterized by a kind of apocalypse that destroyed large parts of the world. The last chance of humanity's survival is a group of women who gather at the White Tower and fight against the imminent destruction of the planet. The synopsis also talks about a futuristic utopia, which raises a few questions given that the events take place thousands of years before the books. We are looking forward to more information about Age of Legends and are eagerly awaiting the release of the series which is planned for this year. Last year, shooting was concluded in North Carolina and now post-production is also done. The talk is, of course, of the now fifth Scream movie. In line with the project's completion, those responsible published a picture taken in the studio where the final touches were added to the film up until recently. Particularly interesting is that the images also give us a first glimpse of the new serial killer with a world-famous mask. Horror nostalgics and fans of the old films will be pleased to see that the killer wears more or less the same mask as all Always in the production. It is still unclear what exactly the plot of the new horror flick will consist of, but at least we know the actors who will be appearing. Known returnees are Nev Campbell as Sidney Prescott, David Arquette as Dooley Riley, Courtney Cox as Gail Weathers, and Marley Shelton as Judy Hicks. New cast members include Melissa Barrera, Jenna Ortega, Jack Quaid, Mason Gooding, Dylan Minnette, and many others. You won't have to wait too long either, since Scream 5 will be released early next year on January 14th, 2020.